hydration bottles, limited edition available now on showfields.com. If you want to get these, they are a hot collector item. Murakami, one of the most important pop and contemporary artists right now. So go on to showfields.com and pick those up. Whether you decide to open them and enjoy the Perrier or keep them as a collector's item, that is totally up to you. As you can see, the store here is a not only experiential retail, but an incredible site-specific art installation gallery. All throughout the store, there are over 90 installations by artists from Miami and outside of every kind of gender and background you can imagine. They're expressing themselves in incredible ways. And that's really what we hope that Showfield provides for people is a platform where they can express themselves however they feel. As you join through here, we walk through the labyrinth of imagination that is Showfields. You can see there's lots of incredible brands, all of which are available on our website. So if you see something that you're curious about, go onto the website and see if you can pick it up for yourself. We've got raining fruit coming down from the ceiling. We've got a more incredible artwork. This piece here by Natasha Tompkins, the dichroic plants, a much more beautiful background than most of our Zoom meetings are. So hope you get to see some of that. And then into really one of the things we're most proud of here, our art slide. We're gonna probably take a ride down there later so you can experience it for yourself. Hope you don't get motion sickness. Coming through this beautiful store, all of these incredible sites and products. So many made by small brand, mission driven whenever possible, sustainability, a core principle for things that show fields, the brands that we carry and the way that we show them, really just a phenomenal place to be. And as we come around and wait for the bartenders to set up, I hope that you all have had a chance to do your prep work. There was only a little bit of extra ingredients that you needed. All of those listed on online. If you want to check them out, make sure you have your peach syrup, your simple syrup, and your honey ginger syrup. Those are going to be important when it comes to making your cocktail. So make sure that you're prepared with that stuff. On to our second floor. As we just took our journey up the Murakami stairs, this flower smiling at us. More beautiful stuff. You could see here our glass skylight here. So when it's sunny outside, you get that, the light changing throughout the course of the day. It is really beautiful. More incredible art. This installation by Moki Baby, a Miami artist. This one highlighting the importance of coral reef in the ocean ecosystem. And you can go and look her up and find ways to contribute to coral preservation, a very important cause and a very important part of the environment. Something that everyone is concerned about. One of the beautiful rooms, more artwork and recycled materials to create these beautiful works. It's incredible down below. You could see Lincoln Road once again. And then we're gonna come through our rotating door up here. The walls open up, unveiling more ways to do events and participate and engage with the store itself. Truly an exciting experience to come through here. But now that you've gotten a chance to take a little tour and see what Showfields is all about, you wanna make sure that you have all your materials, that you have your Perrier, and that you have the spirits and ingredients necessary to follow along with our incredible guest bartenders and mixologists in both Miami and New York and get a chance to participate because that's what this is all about. It's all about participation and involvement 
no matter the situation. So I'm gonna take the shortcut down the stairs. Hold on tight. Whoa. <laughs> That's longer than I remember. Hope you enjoyed the ride and are ready to get right into the mixology. Say hello. Hey. One of the lovely field storytellers making sure that everybody understands all of the incredible things going on. Okay. Well, I hope everyone is ready to get started. Introducing our first, this is Derek Tormis from, from Miami's Lost Boy, Dry Goods. He's gonna walk us through this incredible first cocktail. And then we're gonna be joined by our friends from Angel Share in New York. And they're gonna show their cocktail. So take it away, Derek. Hey, uh, welcome. Uh, so we're gonna to start today with our Gari Melon Highball. With our Gary Melon Highball. Uh, she's gonna be our mocktail for tonight. Uh, very simple, very easy, and very refreshing, light. Um, that's why I compliment the uh, Perrier, very, very good compliment. Uh, so we're gonna start with our lemon juice. We'll do one ounce fresh lemon juice. Up next, we have some fresh juice watermelon, one ounce as well. And last but not least, we have our honey ginger blend. Uh, very delicious, fresh ginger, nice and spicy. Pairs really well with the watermelon and complements very egg. All right. We're gonna ice this. Really? Give it a nice shake. Wonderful. Everybody. Now, on your highball glass, we did have a spicy salt recipe. What we're going to do, using uh, you know any citrus, anything you want, you want to wet or water. You want to wet the edge of your rim of your glass. I'm going to discard that. You want to give it a nice roll. Give your glass a nice roll in your spicy salt. That's how you get a nice, even spicy salt rim. Now I'm gonna strain your cocktail. All right. I'm gonna to top it with ice. And Perrier watermelon to the top. Garnish for this cocktail is gonna be a fresh watermelon slice. On the rim. And that's your Gari Melon Highball. Very refreshing, very light. Uh, watermelon, Perrier, super effervescent, nice, light, refreshing, uh, non alcoholic, you wouldn't even be able to notice. Uh, delicious. There you are. Are we hopping into the next one? All right, guys, and up next, we have our Cucumber Smash. Uh, this cocktail is gonna be gin-based. Uh, we're gonna start with three cucumber slices in the bottom of your tin. And then go ahead and muddle those to release some of the juice. Now we're gonna do half an ounce of simple syrup. We're gonna do half an ounce of lemon. Fresh, of course. We do one and a half ounce of gin, any gin you prefer. Yes. Ice your tins. All 
Stop it. Okay. Right, and we're going to strain into your Collins glass. Nice. Perrier cucumber. And both the Perriers work really well with these cocktails. There are no sugar. You don't want anything too sweet. Uh, just like to keep it refreshing here in Miami. And this garnish is going to be a fresh cucumber ribbon. I like to slide it in using a bar spoon. This is your cucumber smash. Delicious, refreshing. Um, you know, we chose Perrier, or well, Perrier chose us. It's, the pairing with these cocktails is great. The light carbonation, it's all natural. Uh, you don't want something too fizzy. You know, you want to keep it refreshing, uh, not so bubbly, so that way you're not drinking a soda, you're drinking a cocktail. Uh, and that's what we were aiming for. That's why Perrier is perfect with both of these. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> Cheers. Amazing. Thank you so much, Derek. Those cocktails looked delicious and refreshing. Is everyone ready for a little bit more? Good. Well, before we get there, if you have any questions for Derek, about those cocktails, please type them into the chat and we will make sure that those questions get answered at the end of this. Now, kicking it up to New York at Angel Share, Tune Amada is gonna show you a couple more delicious cocktails. Take it away. Hi, Hi everyone, my name is Tsune from New York City at the work at the Angel Share. Uh, I'm originally from Japan and then New York City has been my hometown for three years. So here, I'm here today, so making a two cocktails with you. So first of all, I'm making a cocktail. I was inspired by two cultures, which is French, the period of history and the Japanese culture. So that you can just enjoy the two culture to your table. Okay, so first of all, I, the, as you know, the Perrier has a lot of history. So Perrier was born as a natural sparkling wine in the South France. And it's kind of would be interesting, interesting story to think if Perrier were born in Japan. So the culture in Japan, there is, has to be super clean water source. And also this water source brought the tea field in Japan and also the peach tree. I just uh, followed their route and then just uh, try to combine every ingredient into the one cocktail. Let's make it now. So first of all, you can just pull in the matcha powder into the bowl. Two teaspoons. And then At the back of one nuts. And then just uh, I ask you to make a this peach syrup. So one part of the peach juice and one part of sugar. So easy. One ounce. Then you can just so this is called the chasen to make a matcha and as a liquid well. So then I'm using, but if you don't have this kind of stuff, you can blend this matcha powder into the shaker itself. Then add in the shaker with the strainer. Then add the half ounces lemon juice. Then just paste. Just please make sure before you shake it, just taste it. It tastes good. It's gonna be great. It's great. 
then uh, I'm gonna just uh, make a little garnish. You can just prepare this lemon slice, put on the top of the glasses gently, and then so then I make matcha powder and touch of salt. You can just uh, dip it like this, go around it. So perfect. The ice cube. And now chicken. And one more strain into the glass. And now we use uh, this original Perrier. It has a salad bubble. It's gonna great with uh, this capsule. We'll mix it. I'm gonna just use a this chopsticks for picking the garnish. Usually we use a metal one for today. I'm sorry, I forgot. Here we go. This is a matcha capsule with a Perrier original. Good. Then next one. So we're going to make the one cocktail inspired by the Asian salad. So as uh, the French coast, sometimes it's close by salad. So I just, I wanna make a, some salad, which is inspired by Asian culture, called papaya salad. So you, we use one ounce of tequila, has a little umami and a savoriness too. And then this of course is a papaya juice, one and a half ounce. This is a regular lime juice, three quarter. So this is a one ounce actually. Then this is a simple. So we usually make a simple slope, two parts of the sugar and one part parts of the water. So this is a three quarter. Then we're gonna add one slice of jalapeno into this shaker to bring a little spiciness and also the savoriness and the umami. And you gotta mash it with this. Okay, yeah. It's a broad, it's good spiciness into the shaker. I prepared it this kind of loft glass. Add the ice. The original papaya salad has a lot of element. For example, the savoriness, umami, and the spiciness, and the refreshing. And then I'm gonna use uh, this Perrier cucumber later. Also string. Just make sure there's a pulp from jalapeno now to get in the capsule. It's gonna be super spicy. Here we go. And then we're gonna fill with the, this, this Perrier cucumber. Has a little ar beautiful aroma from cucumber reminds you touch of lime and also the savoriness from cucumber itself. Just to bring in a capsule refreshing too. So as a garnish, I'm using this cilantro. 
gonna bring the also savory flavor and then so make it more complex with the rich. This is a Thai chili. So if you don't have a Thai chili around your supermarket, you can just use a red bell pepper instead. Here you go. This is a cocktail inspired by papaya salad. Thai. Over here. Here. Let's go. Enjoy. We're gonna enjoy. Thank you. Okay, wow, Tune, thank you so much. Those cocktails look amazing. Um, everyone stick around real quick. There's been a couple questions that come in. The first one actually wasn't uh, aimed at one of, of our mixologists or the other, but I think it's fair to pose this question to both of you. So Tune, if you wanna go first, and then Derek, you're gonna follow up. You both have a very distinct sense of personal style. How much would you say that your sense of fashion plays into your ability to make good cocktails and should people get dressed up before they're making their own cocktails at home? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Uh, um, yeah, so uh, definitely I like to, uh, I mean, my style of dress kind of also fits in with Lost Boys vibe, um, where it's kind of Midwestern, kind of pubby. Um, I like to wear a lot of flannels. It, doesn't really correlate with my cocktails per se, but it gets me in the mood to make some fun stuff. Um, you know, it's just, it's all about being comfortable, especially when you're making cocktails and coming up with ideas. You want to be comfortable. You want stuff to just flow. And, and I, that's how I like to dress. I like to dress where I feel like I could flow my best, especially here in Miami. You know? It's all about style, all about fun. <laughs> so that sounds very important. Tune, did you get a chance to hear the question? Yeah, I think so. So that's my answer. The, the I mean, so the place I'm belonging to, it's called Angel Share, which is oldest bar, oldest big easy bar in New York City. So we focus on the Japanese bartending style, which means kind of give customer to sell and a hidden service. So we shouldn't be appearing ourselves so much. So we just uh, collect this, this uniform the best and then the white shirts and the tights it's kind of serving you well and also this one the arm brand also the every kind of japanese bartender they can do not to get this the thing bother you amazing well you're gonna have to share with everybody where we can get those kinds of armbands ourselves we know how important clean cuffs are when mixing drinks okay mm -hmm. one more question and tune you could start with this one um how does perrier specifically um, have a benefit when you're making these kinds of cocktails? So I'm gonna just answer this question. I'm just a prefer to use a Perrier because a Perrier has a super shallow bubble inside. I sometimes, I mean, just a, everyone just a prefer the using the soda has a strong bubble, but sometimes I'm thinking this strong bubble killed every flavor from the every ingredient. So I don't want to kill the much every step for the flavor itself. I just prefer go to the shallow bubble, which Pele has. And, uh, uh, just to piggyback on what Tune said there, um, again, the the the, the good uh, the minerality and the light bubble that comes with the Perrier, um, it it really rounds out the cocktail. It doesn't cut it. Uh, something like honey ginger. You know, you don't want to take away from these bold flavors by having something so bubbly that it, it you know, it kind of not ruins the cocktail, but it, it changes, changes what you're trying to create. Uh, so, yeah, you know, circling back on that, you know, Perrier, way to go for these cocktails. Amazing. Thank you both. And then last question. Um, Perrier is one of the original uh, sparkling waters and soda alternatives, right? No sugar, very refreshing, helps with hydration. Of your cocktails, which of these do you think is really better for like a pool day, right? We're going into the summer, which is the daytime cocktail for the summer? Uh, I mean, honestly, either or. Uh, you're talking about summer, you're talking about pool. I mean, you got cucumber, you got watermelon, you got light, you got refreshing. I go either one of these. It all depends if you want to go vegetal, herby, or if you want to go a little hint of spice, uh, watermelon, but uh, either or, I mean, it's 
it's year round summer here, so it's pretty easy to make a refreshing cocktail. Go ahead, Tune. Which of yours is really the summer drink? Okay, so for me, this papaya cocktail is good for summer because this one is refreshing than the, the other one. And then this one is a real fluly. Uh, this uh, nice fitness too, it's going to bring you the, the refreshing memory. And then this one, maybe you can just start as a kind of cold at the nighttime. This is good for starting nighttime because this one has a matcha to bring you richness, a uh, touch of savoriness. It's going to be great for you. Amazing. Well, again, Tune, Derek, thank you so much. This has been a really educational experience. I hope everybody got a chance to participate at home, try these things out and get ready to, in a small and safe gathering, have them this summer and enjoy the Perrier cocktails and mocktails that were just showed to us. Now, before we leave, I just wanted to remind everybody that these limited edition exclusive Perrier Murakami combination bottles are available on showfields.com. So if you liked what you saw and you wanna get one of the most important ingredients from today's uh, mixology classes from these two incredible talented bartenders, you can go online and get them yourself. We at Showfields are the most interesting store in the world. You have been the most interesting guests, the most interesting bartenders and the most interesting drinks. So everybody enjoy the rest of your night and God bless.